that's three of our five quarterfinals have been completed and that men's singles an excellent encounter the only match so far as you can see that's gone the full distance mixed doubles is up next with mr and mrs adcock against isara and amaprapai and then we finish with that much anticipated encounter between the two divas of Indian badminton. Sina Nawal, the World Championship silver medalist against the Olympic silver medalist, Pusala Venkata Sindhu. Both players with Olympic medals, both players with World Championship medals. And of course, uh, both players, absolute megastars here in India. Our next match being mixed doubles, a chance for us to look at the mixed doubles draw from the quarterfinal stage. Seven different nations involved and six seeds. The only seeds to lose were the number five seeds, Pura Varanukro and Tevrat Thanachai, who of course won the Swiss Grand Prix gold. They lost in the first round. And Pranav Jerry Chopra and Siki Reddy, the number seven seeds lost yesterday to the Russian pair of Bremen and Dimova. So we, though, are going to concentrate on that third quarter of the draw. The Adcocks, the Commonwealth Games gold medalists. They've had a, a pretty good start to the year as well. Two tournaments played, two semi-finals so far from the German Grand Prix gold and then the All England Championships where they agonisingly had a match point opportunity against Alukai and Wan Yashiong who of course went on to win the title. A pair from Thailand, number eight seeds Bodhan Isara and Sawatri Amatrapai. And the pair from Thailand, or Bodhan Isara like his male opponent today, are both left-handers. And Bowden Isara won the men's doubles here in 2012 with Manapong Jongjits. Black and red. The red, the new red. So the English combination, the number three seeds, were semi-finalists here four years ago. And then they lost oh, to go some Kyung and Kim Pana, who then lost in the final. Last year they were the number four seeds and they lost in the first round, the Adcocks, to Wang Ilu and Chen Ching Cheng. So a quick change of ends before proceedings get underway. So Bowden Isara, 26 years of age no. from Bangkok. And he and his partner have been as high as 10. In fact, eight weeks as world number 10s. But they have struggled because of this man's injury problems, which he picked up in the Players. final of the Players. French Super Series in the men's doubles final with Huang Huapet. Had to withdraw no. from that. No final in Paris and struggled with a knee injury no, ever since no, but, but it's nice to see him back to, to good form. Yeah. Yeah. Now what's going on here? Now well we were looking at Isara now there was a, a long conversation going on with the players and the umpire I'm really not sure quite what that was about. Sawatri Amatrapai, 28 years of age, born in Bangkok. And they were semi-finalists last year. They lost in the semi-final to Ricky Woodyanto and Kuspita Rishi Dili, who then lost in the final. It was three games, if I remember correctly in their semi-final last year. Well, in the first round, they beat the semi-finalists from the All England, Watanabe and Higashino, another left and right-handed combination. And then yesterday against Choi Sol-gu and the left-handed Che Yu. 
Jung. So all pairs that they've played against, including today, three pairs, three left and right-handed combinations. Doesn't often happen, does it? Chris Adcock, he's going to turn 28 next month, born in Leicester. And he and his wife spent a total of 54 weeks as world number five. So the two different spells. Now, what is going on? Yes, here's the tournament referee. Now, I'm not sure if I can't hear what's been said. Can we, can we, referee, can we start it? Because TV. Now, are they complaining that the shuttles are too quick? That wouldn't surprise me at all. Gabby Adcock, well, she's 26 years of age, born in Leeds. They're currently number seven in the world ranking. And they played qualifiers in the first round with Mr. and Mrs. Adcock. And then in the second round, they struggled in the opening game against Li Yang and Su Yaqing of Chinese Taipei. In fact, it was two very, very close games the English pair had against that pair from Chinese Taipei. In fact, they were 18 20 down in that first game and saved three game points before winning through 23 21, 22 20. That really was a close battle. Yesterday's second round encounter. I'm still none the wiser as to what all the discussion was about. Well, this will be the first meeting between these two pairs. which I suppose isn't altogether surprising because Isara and Anna Thrapai haven't played together all that long. Less than two years. Pinda Sabawal or India are on par for this one. And Pandatan from India are our service judge. So, for the English pair, this is their third appearance at this event. That semi-final four years ago, and then losing in the first round last year. Well, they have been in four Super Series tournament finals, winning two of them. The first was the Hong Kong Open in 2013 and then won the Super Series Finals in Dubai at the end of 2015. They reached the final of the Super Series Finals in Dubai at the end of last year as well. Now, I think, I think they are Let's trying to play. bring some new shuttles. No, I'm wrong. They're not bringing new shuttles. What is... Well, if I'm lip reading correctly, Gabby Adcock is saying the shuttles are too fast. Girish Natu, the tournament director, is on hand. Just behind the two English coaches. Yes, yeah, so we've got a whole new batch of shuttles. I was quite surprised the men's singles players didn't ask for new shuttles because they looked to be ridiculously fast to me. Oh. Well, Chris Adcock is just going to test the shuttle. And his opponent doesn't let it land. Well, that looks fine to me. We've probably right. gone down a speed. Every tournament must have three different speeds of shuttle of available. And it is at the discretion yes, of the tournament referee Wait. which speed of shuttle is used. And that can be changed during the day. And when you've got crowd in and that literally top, 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 heats up top. the atmosphere Amitra and then the shuttle late. flies a little bit quicker. Wait, please. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chris Edcock, Gabriel Edcock, England. And on my left, 
बुद्ध ने सारा सावित्री अमित पाई थाईलैंड बुद्ध ने सारा टू सर्व टू गैब्रिलाइट कॉक लव ऑल प्ले so last year's semi-finalists, the number eight seeds, Bowden Isara and Sawatu Amatrapai, get this quarter-final encounter underway. One we'll love. Keep an eye on the Gabby Adcock serve during the All England. During the matches I watched, she only low served once. And got a huge Two cheer from love. the home fans for doing so. Turn of serve. Stop it over. One, two. Good women's doubles partnership with Anna Trafai. Play. A couple of finals we played together during 2011-2013. In fact, they won a title here in India. They won the side body Grand Prix gold. Idea, so. Job is over. Six, two. Oh, that's been long. Seven, two. So this era, Bowden Isara, one seven. time bad boy of World Badminton, involved in a very ugly fracas during the final of the Canadian Open a few years ago, served a two-year ban because of his behaviour. Not nice to see him making the headlines for all the right reasons nowadays. Two Bobby Super Solo. Series finals Eight, in two three. formats at the end of last year. And men's doubles in Denmark Open, followed by the final in Paris where he picked up that knee injury. Nine, three. Oh, a good start from the player from Thailand. We had a rally. So that right, I mean, there were six or seven shots. Now somebody in the background has got their mobile phone light on. I don't know whether he was trying to take a picture. That's certainly distracting for the players. Well, it really is. 
So Peter Drury, the English coach, has got some hard work to do with this British pair. Here we go. Ooh, up off the waist. Ooh, not sure about that. Well, he's always very calm, is Peter Jeffrey. Oh, I can't hear what they're saying. No doubt he will be urging them to focus on one particular aspect of their game. Thank you, coach. Amitra, Amitra. Put the towel down. Yeah, there Both he is. Towel. Nearest to us. Towel, towel down. Yeah, towel, yeah. Press, press. Good defense. Oh, that's very, very well played from Sawatri Hammer Trapai. My goodness me, just launching herself towards the net to make this final kill. Look at that. Challenge from the five. English pair, which I'm surprised about. Oh, that's lovely play. Lovely play. Made her way forward from the back of the courts. Gabby Adcock. Yeah, no, no. a calm, thoughtful placement of the final shot. All right. Again, to dare to serve low. No. When the shuttles are playing fast, starting the rally with a flick serve is very dangerous indeed. Oh, that's 
That's lovely. Yeah. Service over, 9.50. There's a little block, and then the block shot. Rally completely controlled from Chris Adcock. 11. Oh. Well, hit the top of the tape. Pulled over. 18, 11. Opening game so far. Play. This is better. Yeah, that's a good rally. So I'm solo. 13, 19. Well, umpire didn't a sub well, saying that he saw that she Play. had possibly squeezed the shuttle, interfering with the shuttle, so he had to change it. Well, if the players think the shuttle's uh, too fast, if you squeeze the shuttle, it's going to be even faster. Yeah. Oh. Serve is out. 20, game point, 14. And that gives game point opportunities to the number eight seeds from Thailand. Hey! 
just brilliantly taken off the top of the tape. Sabitovo, 15, 20. My goodness, that was good, wasn't it? Opening game to the number eight seed, Spodanisara and Sawatri Amatrapai. 21-16 confirms the umpire in 18 minutes of play. Oh, they took a while for the English to open and get themselves going. Opening game. So play gets underway. Second game here. Now what can the English pair? Well, they were slow to settle in the opening game. And they make a better Double start four, here to the second. One, love. Like our previous quarterfinal, we might be treated to a third and deciding game. Of course, if you're a Thailand fan, after the disappointment of the women's singles when the defending champion, Arachan Pintanon, lost our first match of the day. We've been hoping for some sort of... Oh, my goodness. Why did he leave that? Yeah. Yeah, Thailand fans will be hoping for success here in the mixed doubles. been said but Flex. one assumes umpire is saying don't take so long in between the points oh that's gone wide two one Lucky there from Bodenisara. Three, but you one. create your own luck. 
It was very quick reactions. Idea, we'll make a Four, one. In the front of the court, Bowden Isara. Uh, Gabby Adcock wasn't having any of it. set up by that net court simply put away in the end what is ball ball stop it solo three five your contact no it is there you know you do this contact Both right. being called now for a service fall, but ah! our players have been a little bewildered by. Four, five. Service fault called on Bode and Nisara could have a fairly dramatic effect on this match. Sara trying to come across his partner there for. I hope he hasn't hurt his knee again. Watch this. Oh, she was there. She was there. Are you okay? Oh, that was most peculiar. <laughs> yeah. I think they're okay. Thank goodness. Thank you, thank you. Amit Rapai, Amit Rapai, Savitri. Savitri. Cover should not be over. Six five. Run the four straight points is the lead. Five. That five straight points. Seven five. Oh, that's a delightful back end. Oh, 
Gustavo Solo, six, seven. Gustavo Solo, eight, six. Landed long. Nine, six. <laughs> Double solo, seven, nine. Solo, ten, seven. Well, it has all changed since that service fault was called on both in the Sara and the Sitsa at the time. You can change a match, a call like that. to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage. And when you consider they've been 2-5 down. Remarkable oh, recovery. Court one, twenty second. Court one, twenty second. Thank you, coach. Players. Eleven seven. Play. Well, the turnaround has been dramatic, hasn't it? And all because of a, a call that the player didn't 14, agree with. Seven. The player from Thailand just seemed to have fallen to pieces.
just wide. Oh, it's landed clearly in. Oh, goodness me, that's a misjudgment from Amatrapai. Yeah, but another flick serve oh. on Earth. This is better than we saw, I'm expecting 16. it. Just that. 11, 16. Double solo, twelve, seventeen. Oh, that was going out. Thirteen, seventeen. I suspect normally he would have pushed that deep changed his mind at the last moment because he knew it was likely to go long so a change of mind from what he would normally do perhaps forcing him into error Three points away from forcing a third and deciding game. Number three seeds. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, he's looking for the quick serve now. Quick from Amatrapai. Yeah. Two very, very good front court players, the two women on court. Yeah. 
just proving my point. David Sobo, 19 15. Gabriela. 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 You want to wipe? You can wipe. Don't throw. Game point opportunities to level this quarter final at uh, one game apiece. Oh, good. It's one game all. 21-15, the response one game from Chris and Gabby Adcock after the number eight seeds, Zisara and Amatrapai had taken the first 21-16. So one game all, everything to play for. Playing already underway at the start of this Sabitola, deciding game. One love. Sabitola, one all. Cut away with Venom. What a great backhand One. kill. It broke. No, oh, you see. I'm still waiting for a low serve. I don't think we've had one yet from Gabby Adcock.
Sabisova, two, three. Sabisovo, four, three. And a high, slight hesitation. Isara thought that his partner was going to intercept that return. Challenge here. Gabriel and Cox challenges called out. So it's the first challenge of this mixed doubles quarter final. <laughs> wow, on earth was that? Correction in. How on earth was that called out? Five, three. <laughs> so it's over, four, five really have much of a rhythm in this mixed doubles does it Good rally. Yeah, best rally of the match so far. Savitsova, five, six. Return. So it's Double over action. Seven, Turns five. his opponent the wrong way. net cords for which they both apologize Eight, five. as I said in earlier in the match you create your own luck much of the time Well, they now look 
look very much on top of the match, don't they, the number three seeds? Ten, five. In contrast, the pair from Thailand look unsure what to try next. They're dominant now. Into one the Commonwealth Games gold medalists. Six point advantage as they change ends in this deciding game. Court one, twenty second. Court one, twenty second. Yes, please. Well, I'm not sure that this deciding Play. game can have been twenty seven minutes, according to the giant scoreboard in the arena. The entire match, the match clock has just ticked over fifty minutes. Eleven five. Play. one-way traffic now. 13 was in the opening game it was Chris Adcock who were making a who was making another a number of errors like that. Now it's Bodin Isara. Sabisovo six thirteen. Seven, thirteen. Yeah, very well taken. Serve is long. Service so over, 14 7. Goes down as a service error. Service so over, 8 14. It's over, 15, 8. No, on the return of serve. Eight. Combination 
position. They look very much as if they're going to reach their second semi-final here at the Indian Open Super Series event. Four years on the one first one time they reached nine, the semi-final. Oof, yeah, did well to get out of the way. Over so well, 17 9. Right. Service fault call, service so over, 10 7. Service fault called. Eleven seventeen. Twelve seventeen. Yeah, <laughs> that's a little. Skip there. Still buoyant. So it's over eighteen twelve. Turn of serve. So it's over thirteen eighteen. <laughs> Not the best of serves. Fourteen, eighteen. You know, I don't think he was expecting a smash down his forehand side, Chris Adcock. Gabriela, no. I told you if you want, if you want, you can wipe. Don't throw, don't throw your first. No. Well, once again, getting told off for flicking perspiration Play. away. Good rally. Oh, this time the luck is with Amatrapa. Yeah, bounced off the top of the tape, badly deflected. Play. Nine 
a yell of delight after the rally there from Gabby Adcock. She knows that was an important point. Play. the longest running of the match so far as well. Oh, got in each other's way again. Two players from Thailand. Foden Nesara not trusting his partner. 20 yeah, March he's feeling the 15. pace of this. Big gulps of air. She was there. So five match point opportunities for the Adcocks. Yeah. Only needed the one. 16-21, 21-15, 21 21-15 deciding game. Exactly okay. an hour in duration. Well, I've said it before, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And they finish the better of the two pairs Park, and a bit of a ghastly start to the quarter-final that is testament that even when you're not playing at your best to start with you still come through a tough encounter yet another quick serve third tournament of the year a third semi-final for Chris and Gabby Adcock Once again, confirmation of the scoreline. 16-21, 21-15, 21 deciding game. So four of our five quarterfinals have been completed and there's a real buzz in the arena here at Siri Fort Sports Complex because the next match is the match that all Indian badminton fans have been dying to see. Saina Newell against Pusala Venkata Sindhu. Saina Newell, the bronze medalist from the London Olympic Games. Pusala Venkata Sindhu is, of course, the silver medalist in Rio last year two years ago in jakarta saina newell won a silver medal at the world championships but her opponent has won two bronze medals at world championships my goodness me 
the list of achievements of these two women uh, go on and on. And when you look at the women's singles draw, of course, this match from the bottom half of the draw, we've already seen uh, last year's champion, Arachan Okunjanon, uh, defeated in the top half of the draw. The new world number two, Akane Yamaguchi, coming through a thriller against her teammate Nozomi Okuhara. The world and Olympic champion is already on court on the adjoining court, but this is the match all Indian fans have waited so, so long to see. Well, I've been told that...